welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick little haul video. Now usually I save everything till the end, but I swear to God, it's like that time of the year where all my pre-orders are coming in. And even though I wanna like set things aside and like film a big haul at the end of the month, I feel like then I'm gonna forget something. So I'm just gonna film a quick little haul for you guys. This is some palettes that just came in and some things I picked up with my Ulta 20% off coupon. And of course, Mr. Teddy needs to make his presence known. So he is here as well to see all the new makeup that mommy bought. So if you guys are interested, definitely keep watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And I hope you will consider subscribing and helping a sister out. Anyway, enough blabbing, let's get into it. Okay guys, my dog is kind of an attention seeker, like, Literally, look at him. Say hi to everyone, Ted. Oh, this tongue of his. Teddy. Teddy Witty. So I had told you guys in one of my other videos with him that he had this like abnormal vertebrae, which means he's not really supposed to be like running and jumping. He's supposed to be like relaxing and really not putting a lot of strain on his back because he can like tweak his back at any time. Nope. Personality has not changed. He was on some heavy painkillers until his like inflammation went down and he still acts like a total wild child. So he's kind of adorable. And <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. Look at what I got. So I have this little tip for you guys in case any of you like Sonia Kashuk. Her brushes, sometimes I feel like there is so much and it doesn't sell as well these sets so then they go on like decent clearance. I saw it at Target on clearance for $7 and I was like mm, I don't need to pay $7 for some brushes and then I went back this past weekend and they were on sale for $4.50 so these four brushes were originally $15 and I got them for $4.50 which means I paid like a little over a dollar for each of them so I thought hey why not give them a shot I have quite a few brushes from Sonia Kashuk's line at Target and some of them are actually quite impressive and you guys you know I'm really into color right now so I go through eye brushes like a beast and yeah a nice fluffy blending brush this one looks like also like a concealer type brush this one looks like it might be good for the under eye and then this one looks like it might be a brow brush but uh, I use these kinds of things for a million different, you know, excuses and reasons. So I thought that was a really good deal. So always keep an eye out. I saw their fall line is out in stores right now and it's like super beautiful, like shades of gold and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep an eye out for, you know, when that season's over because I'm sure they'll have overstock and it'll be on clearance and I will be there to get my hands on it. So that was one thing I wanted to share with you guys. This was another thing I picked up on sale. This is the Murat Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. I've been using this cleanser for years now and I really like it. I honestly see a difference in my skin when I don't have this in my life. So Sephora was having a sale and it was on sale for 15 bucks I believe and so I decided to pick it up. It looks like Murad has changed their packaging. This tube used to be clear and now it's like this opaque pearlescent packaging so that's kind of cool and yeah once I run out of the one in my shower this will be there to take its place. Now this is something I did pick up from Ulta. This is the Elizabeth and James fragrance in the scent French Grey. I actually have a ton of different fragrances right now but I had smelt this a while ago and I thought I should add it to my collection especially if I was going to get 20% off. This is a very fresh and clean scent. It doesn't last super long but I only wore it for the first time today like on my actual skin from this bottle so we'll see how it goes. I have their bourbon scent which I really like as well so I'm happy that they added like a fresh scent. I know some of their scents like the original two, the white and the black are very musky heavy scents. Not my vibe but I love nice like light fresh scents so I'm excited. I love this packaging so much and so yeah, I figured since I was going to get 20% off, I might as well pick it up and use it. So very, very excited for this guy. Okay, the next thing I bought, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me talk about this. This is the Zuri Cosmetics palette. It's called the Zuri Eyeshadow Palette. And this 
brand is based in the UK, I believe. And it is an African-owned brand, so it is inspired by like the prints and stuff from Africa. Um, and this is what it looks like. I had tried to resist buying this for the longest time and then it went on sale, so I figured I might as well pick it up on sale. That way at least, you know, I'm getting a little bit of a discount on it. And yeah, it's beautiful. I'm so excited to dig into this. I've seen a lot of positive reviews on this baby. So yeah, let me know if you guys own this palette or if you've been curious about it. Um, I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. I know Lacey um, from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips has this palette and so does Angelica and I believe maybe Paulina does too and uh, Makeup Struggles as well. So they all have this palette and it totally you know, made me want it as well, so I picked it up, and I'm going to, of course, have to review that for you guys as well. Um, if any of you want to go ahead and let me know down in the comments of this video, like, what your preferences are as far as, like, reviews, because I have a lot of the new summer releases, and I'm slowly trying to, like, test them all, but, you know, it's going to take me time. So if there's, like, something you want to see, like, the quickest, just let me know, because... I'd be happy to kind of prioritize things and move things around. This is something I was really excited for. This is the Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Now I don't like a whole lot of things from Too Faced, but I do actually enjoy their Born This Way foundation. So I was really excited when they, you know, kind of said they were going to do a Super Coverage Concealer. I bought the shade Butterscotch, which, I don't know, I haven't used this on my actual face yet, so I don't know if it's going to be too dark or what, but... We'll try it out and see. It didn't look quite as dark when I pulled the doe foot out of the container, but this is pretty dark. So I have a feeling I might need another shade, but since I have it like right here right now, I might just go ahead and try this out tomorrow. But yeah, I seriously feel like I have not found my holy grail like concealer yet. So if this is like hydrating, but full coverage, I think I'm going to really enjoy this for my under eyes. So I will report back on that for you guys. Okay, here's another thing I picked up from Ulta. I was so excited for this. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, and this is in the shade Overdrive, and this was part of the Born to Run, Born, Born to Run collection that they came out with, with that travel theme palette. I wasn't interested in the palette, but you guys know green is one of my favorite colors. And when I saw this green eye pencil, I figured, you know, I should try it out and see. I haven't actually bought, like, a 24-7 Glide-On eye pencil in a long, long time. So this is the first time I picked one up in forever. I'm actually wearing this on my waterline, and I actually thought it was a really beautiful color. It did not, like, smudge everywhere and everything. So maybe the formula has changed since I last tried this. But, yeah, I'm excited to keep trying this out because... I don't really have like a fun color like this for eyeliner, so if I like this formula, then I can buy more of the fun shades that Urban Decay has. So, very, very excited for this guy. Okay, this is the next item. You guys might have seen me opening this on Instagram stories. One of the shades actually shattered when I was unboxing this, so I did contact Melt, and I believe they said they were going to replace this for me. They were so, so nice. This is their 27 palette now. A lot of people are kind of just like rolling their eyes at this palette because it is just another warm tone palette. I totally fell for the hype with this, you guys, because it was like super limited edition and people were like whining about how hard it was going to be to get, etc, etc. It is, you know, kind of like themed after one of the owners of Melt. This girl is gorgeous and it's like all like personal pictures of her and her family and friends and like boyfriend or husband or whatever. So it's a really cute idea. I think it's so cool that this 27 year old has a successful makeup line. Like those are like serious like girl boss things that we should all celebrate. So I thought I'd buy the palette and support them. And also I had a Melt stack and I was not a big fan of the formula, but I hear so many people on YouTube talking about Melt, talking about Melt, and I actually sold my Melt stack on Poshmark. So I figured, you know what, let me try an eyeshadow palette and see what I think of the formula. But since that shadow crumbled, I was so disappointed. I was like already kind of like on the fence about why I bought this. And then the shadow broke when I was opening and I was like, oh my god, like fuck this palette. It's almost like $60 and now it's a hot mess. Like I got shadow on my floor and all this crap. So I'm excited they're replacing it. Hopefully I can take care of that one better. 
but uh, yeah, we'll see. I haven't swashed this or anything yet. It's just a mess in here. So I'm just going to wait to see if I get a replacement from them. And then I will start testing this out and letting you guys know what I think of the formula. I swear the stacks just like did not work for me. I think I had like the one that has like the red shade and like a beige shade. And it was one of the four pan stacks. So yeah, I wasn't overly impressed with it. And I ended up selling it on my Poshmark. But I want to give Melt a, a good chance before I completely write them off so that is my logic for that and I was really excited to pick this up on sale this is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in the matte formula now I have like every kind of Fix Plus I have the scented ones the regular ones I have the gold light one and I really wanted to like the gold light one the one with the shimmer in it but it honestly did not work for me it doesn't do anything like exciting to my skin but I love Fix Plus I swear by this stuff so I was excited that they came out with a matte one and this is a perfect time for a matte Fix Plus because it's summertime, you're warm, your skin is kind of, you know, producing more oil during the day. So I'm very excited for this guy. I thought it would be a fun one to just carry around even in my purse. So I want to try this out right now. So I'm going to stop talking so I can spray my face. Mmm, it has that perfect Fix Plus mist. So we'll see. Let me know if you guys notice if my face mattifies. But yeah, this is definitely going on my actual vanity so I can start using it. Now, next thing I bought, this was a purchase on Sephora.com. Totally was not planning on buying this, but I don't know. I got suckered in. It just looks so beautiful online. This is the Chrissy Teigen X Becca Highlighter Collab. I only wore this today for the first time, so this is the highlighter I have on. I'm so, like, confused because I saw Chrissy Teigen using this, and she had, like, a flat brush, like a... I don't even know how to describe it. It almost looked like a contour brush, but she kind of slid it across the entire thing and then just like dusted on her face but when you see this color in person it is so brown like it's so dark let me just swatch it actually because I'm like really confused like it's definitely a bronzer for me but if you're lighter than me like I don't know how that's gonna work for you so today I just mixed like the two light shades together but I'm a little curious to see like how that's gonna work like would you just like swirl them all together or like what the plan is of course as usual very pigmented Becca has a wonderful formula when it comes to their face powders oh my gosh like these are the most legit powders ever so if you ever get a chance to purchase one definitely do and yeah I will keep trying this we'll see I don't know if it's like a permanent thing in my collection or if it was just something like I had to see in person. So far, so good though. So I think I'm most likely going to keep that. Another thing, this I did buy on the Ulta website. This is a bronzer. Of course, it's summertime. So like bronzer is like number one in my brain right now. And this is the Gradient Sunlit Bronzer in Sunset Waves. They came out with a highlighter that looked very similar. So I think the, the bronzers got kind of like swept under the rug. I thought this was a dark tone highlighter. But then I realized it was actually called a bronzer. So I was like, oh my gosh, let me buy it. So I bought the darker shade. It is the bronzer I'm wearing today. It does have a very shimmery overspray on it. So that was a little scary, but I am excited to test this out and see if it gives me a bronze glow. I am a huge fan of Becca's Ipanema Sun, which is one of their sunlit bronzers. So excited to try this as well. Always trying out new bronzers because bronzer is life in the summer. The next thing I bought are some of these brush cleaners and I was curious because I bought one of those brush spinner cleaner things. You know that thing that you see where the brush like hooks in it's like an egg beater and it spins your brush and cleans it. Well it wasn't working with dishwashing soap. The only thing it worked on I had a little sample of the Beauty Blender soap, so I used that up. So I needed more, and this is the one Amazon recommended to use with that brush cleaner. And it is the EcoTools Makeup Brush Shampoo for a deep weekly cleanse, uh, free of parabens and phenolphthalates or whatever. So I'm excited to try this, and what I did was, these ones are cheaper, so I bought that. But I also bought the Beauty Blender one in case I didn't like the EcoTools one. I could return whichever one I didn't want to keep. So I have both of these. I know this one works for sure, but this is a little bit more pricey. So we'll try it out and see. This one has five fluid ounces. This one has six. My gosh, it's already sounding like a much better deal. So we'll have to try it out and see. I know EcoTools 
make some really good products so I'm not too worried about the quality or anything like that but let me know if you guys have tried this because I have not but I have tried the beauty blender one and I really like it it's just it's just a little bougie it's a little expensive so I did buy two because I know how much I need to clean my brushes and I have a lot of brushes so I thought I would buy some backups in case I went through it really quickly um, the other thing I bought, this is also from EcoTools, like I said, I just, you know, am obsessed with bronzer right now, and I'm always looking for the perfect bronzer brush, even though I swear to God, I have so many bronzer brushes. This one just looked particularly fluffy and wonderful, so I did decide to buy, oh God, they put like glue on this thing. I don't know, I just wanted to buy it. It looks like a little bit of a synthetic brush, so it is interesting. I feel like this would be really good for like a cream bronzer but uh yeah i don't want to rub it on my face but i will try this out and report back to you guys on what i think about this brush as well and i know that you can buy at target like most all of these drugstore stuff that i bought from ulta you can buy at target i just ended up buying it from ulta because of the 20 percent off and then the last thing i wanted to show you guys i already did this watch party video on this but i did get the lemonade palette from kristen dominique and it turns out, guys, I don't know if you got her email from her company today, if you did buy this palette. The first batch was faulty, so there is like wax buildup on it. And I had kind of mentioned it on my swatch party video or some video where I was talking about this palette. And I was like, I'm a little bit worried because it's not swatching very well. And I can't seem to get the glitter shades to do anything on my eyes. Like, it's so hard to pick up the shades with a brush. So I was just like really kind of disappointed because... I ordered it on her website, which I was planning on just getting it on Ulta. So we'll see how it goes. They said they're going to be replacing my palette, but I haven't heard anything back. They told me like, oh, we're getting one out to you right away. I never got any tracking or anything, so I don't know if they were just giving me lip service on that. And I think you only have 14 days to return the palette if there's something wrong with it. So I need to kind of like keep an eye on that because I don't want to get screwed and get stuck with like a shitty palette. So I'm really disappointed because I've heard such great things about her formula and I was excited when I got the 20% off coupon because I had planned on picking up the Latte palette because I've heard non-stop like endless good things about this guy. So this is her Latte palette. Hopefully there's no problems with this one but even if there is problems at least I can go back to Ulta and return it which is a huge benefit. I had said in a video that I honestly do like to be able to buy from places where I can return things just because like makeup companies are so shady these days and it's just like so difficult so hopefully it'll be fine and I will get a replacement palette for the lemonade palette okay guys that is it for my quick little haul I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what your favorite product was that I hauled what are you most excited to hear more information on I would really appreciate it if you guys could tell me that in the comments. I hope you are having a fabulous month of July and I will catch you on my next video. Bye guys!